Welcome to Strip Coverlet, where we squeeze the bigger picture out of literature. We are here with a TBR for the month of May. Uh, but first, I want to give a little bit of wrap-up about National Poetry Month. So that is 30 videos in 30 days, 30 poetry discussions in 30 days. And like I said, on the 100th poetry discussion here on the channel, Talking about poetry on YouTube really is um, detrimental in the YouTube algorithm, and especially when you do it for 30 days in a row, um, it's suicide for your channel because uh, it's not something that stands out to people immediately. Poetry is not particularly pos popular, um, but it is something which was extremely, is extremely important to me to do. I think, in my humble opinion, that a reemergence of poetry, a reemergence of the prevalence of poetry, a reemergence of the prevalence of poetry in the literary world, as well as some prevalence of poetry in the greater world at large. I'm not going to say that it would prohibit you know, or, or, or extinguish some of the problems that we have in the world, but it would certainly take the edge off of them. It would certainly, uh, I think that what every poem does is it sort of wriggles into your brain. And if, if you're treating it like literature, right? If you're treating it like there are multiple angles from which this thing is to be um, toyed with. If you're treating it in that way, every poem is a tool and it is a tool to live a life greater than the self that is to say to be able to see the world not just through one's own eyes but through the eyes of another and to be able to understand why someone would think a certain way and I don't have the, you know what, I don't need to do the whole uh, philosophical thing. In National Poetry Month this year, we had four Sylvia Plath poems. And I'm going to, I'm going to go through this because there are some things that I learned that I, I, I didn't know before. We had four Sylvia Plath poems, four Emily Dickinson poems, four Langston Hughes poems, four poems by William Blake, four poems from Robert Frost, five poems from Charles Bukowski, and the 100th poetry discussion uh, here on the channel, which was, I believe, a two-hour event? Two and a half, maybe? I think it was two. Two hours of just me talking about some poems. Uh, and I have some lessons that I took away from this National Poetry Month. Uh, number one, no one cares about the trench poets. I was not aware of that. I thought that the trench poets were special to everyone. That's what I thought. I thought everyone had a special place in their hearts for mustard gas and um, barbed wire. But it seems that it's not the case. Mustard gas and barbed wire, however, metaphorically, the trench poets wrote with big old chips on their shoulder. And that is something... I like, so I'm going to keep doing it. Um, in addition to the fact that no one likes the Trench Poets, everybody hates Langston Hughes. So one of the things, if you've never, if you don't run a channel, there is a tool called the Creator App. And on the Creator App, there's this um, little graph that you are shown every time you upload videos. And this little graph has the rankings of your previous, your current upload and the previous nine. So the last 10 videos to appear on your channel. Every time Langston Hughes was an upload. So 10 of them, different poem every day of the week. So you've every time you upload somebody, you've got their previous week's entry on the list still there every time. Without exception, Langston Hughes was the bottom two slots on those performance logs. 
Uh, I was not aware of that. I thought that Langston Hughes, uh, like the Trench Poets, would have a more prevalent place in the heart of YouTube viewers. My fault. I should be doing a better job with this. Um, in addition, people who like Emily Dickinson and Charles Bukowski, I know this sounds like the beginning to a joke. It's not the beginning to a joke. It's an observation. People who like Emily Dickinson and Charles Bukowski have, over the past five years, found my channel. I don't think, uh, so I know there are quite a few people who tell me that because of me, they read more Emily Dickinson than they did. They read more Emily Dickinson than they would have. And that Emily Dickinson has found a place in um, their pantheon. It means a lot to me. I don't think I've had anyone tell me that with Charles Bukowski. Still, both of those uh, writers, when their videos went live, would rank um, and would rank high in the list, upper half, and still continue to get views. Um, so one of the things about running a literary channel on YouTube. Most of the viewership is not live, right? So there's really two kinds of channels on YouTube, two kinds of content on YouTube. Stuff that you watch live, the news type stuff, Tim Pool, The Young Turks, Steven Crowder, wherever you are on that spectrum. That stuff is consumed the day it happens. It's news. It's like watching CNN. It's like watching ABC. It's like watching Fox. Stuff like I make, the literary stuff, is not that way. The stuff that I make, the literary stuff, is stuff that you don't find it through me. You find me through it. You are reading The Shining. You happen to Google it, and a picture of this pretty mug pops up. You can't help but click it, right? Where am I going with this? I can't remember. Oh, right. Emily Dickinson, Charles Bukowski. People who read Emily Dickinson and Charles Bukowski seem to have found me different um, than Blake. William Blake, one of the slots, a new addition to National Poetry Month this year. Last year, that uh, that's the slot which is filled by William Blake this year um, was a random slot. It was just a, these are poetry discussions I'm going to do. I'll throw them on. I think it was Sundays. Um, somewhere, some sick son of a bitch is assigning William Blake to their students. And when you got to write about William Blake, you find videos, not necessarily mine. There are a lot of uh, very... Um, popular videos on William Blake here on YouTube. Uh, but still, I, I'd get people saying that they were writing a paper on William Blake, etc. And finally, the last lesson that I have from this National Poetry Month, Sylvia simps are real. There must be a school of Sylvia Plath um, Sylvia Plath, I won't say fans, I shouldn't say simps. It's not the right word to use. It's not kind. And I'm a kind guy. Sylvia, I don't know what the right word would be. Uh, somewhere there is a school of Sylvia readers, Sylvia consumers. And it's weird because I've got probably probably 12-ish Sylvia Plath videos on the channel by now. Um, I have, I think, eight videos in the poetry discussion playlist from Sylvia Plath. There will be a month, and one of those videos, so the, the, the top 10 last things that you uploaded, I told you about that uh, little metric that the YouTube Creator app throws in your face. There's a second list, which is over the last 30 days, 28 days, 
over the last 28 days, these are the top 10 videos on your channel. Every once in a while, a Sylvia Plath video will just boop out of nowhere and get 200 views in a month. Um, not a whole lot, um, but a lot for poetry. A lot for poetry. Um, so that's all of the lessons from National Poetry Month. Now, let's get some stuff we're reading. I will have on my personal channel, I fell a little bit behind. There will be a link to my personal channel in the description below. Uh, I'm creeping up on a thousand subscribers. It would really mean a lot to me to hit that 1,000 subscriber milestone. Um, no, I'll get to that later. It would really mean a lot to me to hit that 1,000 subscriber milestone by my birthday. So if, you know, you don't have to watch the videos, just maybe quietly creep over there, go to the description box, click on the link to my personal channel, click on the subscribe button. You don't have to watch anything. You don't have to stay. Just maybe uh, do that for me. Over there, we will have, we will get back to the Daily Stoic 366 Meditations on Wisdom, Perseverance, and the Art of Living by Ryan Holiday and Stephen Hanselman. Every time I do one of these videos, so what I do with these videos is a week of reading, seven days, I pick about three to talk about. And I have this sort of paranoia in the back of my head because Ryan Holiday has his own channel on YouTube. There's this paranoia in the back of my head that he's going to copyright claim me. But if he does, if he does, if you do, Ryan, if you're out there, if you're watching this, and you say that my videos were not large enough part, my work, half of your book is from Marcus Aurelius or Epictetus, okay? So you can shove that argument. So I'm going to have, uh, well, let's see. Let me see here. May, I'm doing, I think I'm going to have five. So I'll be doing these, I think, on Sundays or Mondays now. Five videos from the, uh, at least five. I want to catch up. So maybe six or seven from the Daily Stoic. I am also going to have at least, I know I've been promising this. I know I've been promising this. At least one video from Walter Isaacson's Leonardo uh, da Vinci. And the nice thing about that series is I don't read an entire chapter for those videos. I just sort of read one of the subheadings and go from there. But again, I'll be turning 24 this September. It's not gray hair. It's just the way the light shines off of it. I'll be turning 24-ish this September, so it would really mean a lot to me if you went over to my personal channel and subscribed there, so I could hit a thousand by that time. Now, this channel's reading for the month of May 2022, the poetry discussion, so we have a poetry discussion, a short story discussion, <clears throat> a writer's quote, and an opening paragraph video. Look, <clears throat> I'm going to come right out and tell you. going to be a little so 30 videos 31 videos in 30 days including this tbr 31 videos in 30 days the next couple months are going to be fairly slim pickings but for good reason i'm working on two other series i'll tell you about one i'm working on a poem by poem read along again channel suicide suicide in the algorithm a poem by poem read along for emily dickinson I'm going to be taking five poems at a time and just going through them, starting at the very beginning of Emily Dickinson's collection. Boom, 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 video. Boom, 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 video. Boom, 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 video. I think, again, because my birthday, I think... I'm going to go live with that series in September. 24, 24. I've got an Amazon wish list, 24 years old, you know, just saying. Um, very distinguished for 24. I think you would have to agree. Um, 
I think I'm going to be going live with that as a weekly series in September. I'm working on a big series that I'm either going to debut in September or October. I was thinking late August. It's a lot more work. It is a lot more work than I had in mind. And it is going to be... One second. Thirty-five parts. A thirty-five part read along on the channel. And I'm going to completely revolutionize the way that I talk about literature here on the channel. Going that, if you heard that was a UPS person, undoubtedly, delivering someone's package to my apartment. Someone else's package to my apartment. I live at 209, the apartment number, 209. The address on the building is 209. So everybody who gets anything sent anywhere in this building comes to this guy, and I have to then hand deliver it, unless I go out and yell at that guy right now, which I've done a few times. Um, in very unflattering fashions. But what was I saying? Yes, 35 parts. I'm completely revolutionizing as a channel, the way that I do the read-alongs. And I think it's going to be worth it. Um, very different. Going to be multi-parts of the show. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm very proud of this. I am looking forward to this series debuting. It's going to be a lot of work, and I have to get far enough ahead in the series in building the episodes that um, that the editing doesn't put me behind. So that's that's going to be very difficult, very challenging. So the four videos that I have scheduled. And there could be up to seven videos this month. Four on Fridays. I was told about two other Sylvia Plath poems that people wanted me to read. I can't find them. I have the Sylvia Plath collected poems. I guess they're not in there. Or they're in there by a different title. Sometimes poems have multiple titles, depending on where it was published or if the very com fairly common with poems that they would have multiple titles. So if you are Dejection Cat Reads or someone, I can't remember the name right now, on one of my videos during National Poetry Month said, so one was a crazed girl. I can't remember what the other one was. I don't have those Sylvia Plath poems. I can't find them. If you are those people, I've tried to leave, I replied to the comment on here and on Instagram, um, get back to me and I will try to have discussions for those two poems this month as well, as well as a TBR in May for June. But the scheduled readings for the upcoming month, on Friday the 6th will be a poetry discussion of Wild Swans by Edna St. Vincent Millay. Friday the 13th, probably fairly fitting, Araby by James Joyce. I say that because James Joyce can be absolute murder. Friday the 20th, writer's quote 39. And Friday the 27th, we will have 18 minutes with the opening paragraph of On the Road. Got a book review for On the Road on the channel. Did not take to it to... Well, now, I've mentioned two other series. So, here, I want to open up a little bit to you. A little inside baseball talk. Begging for interaction here because I've got questions for you. I have Fridays, I think I've got two videos left to shoot for Fridays throughout the year, and I've got everything done. I got the big month of 30 poetry discussions in 30 days done. I got all the Fridays through the month with the exception of two Fridays. They're just different videos I need to, to film. Um, September. 
I might. So I want the Emily Dickinson poem um, series to be live. I want the super secret sauce. Big stuff. Big stuff. Greatest thing you've ever seen. To be live. And I've got my Fridays done. That's three of seven days of the week that I've got done. I might be open to... Uh, where is September here? After August, right? I might be open to 30 videos in 30 days for September as well. But what I want to do, if I do that, is I want to do 30 videos in 30 days here and on my personal channel, a link to which can be found in the description below. Go follow me over there as well. So, I'm open to suggestions. What else should I be doing? I think if I do, in fact, decide to do that, one day of the week will be Emily Dickinson. One day of the week will be, so probably Mondays for the Emily Dickinson series. Probably Wednesdays for the Super Secret Sauce series. Um, probably Fridays for poetry discussions. Probably Thursdays or Saturdays for short story discussions. That's four days of the week. I have a writer's quote. I have... I don't have an opening paragraph for that month. I just got three poetry discussions, I think. So, um... Poetry discussions, short story discussions, Emily Dickinson, writer's quotes, and super secret sauce. I have two days of the week. What kind of videos would you want to see here? Also, if I decide to do that, I would consider bringing back the Ask Adrian Anything series on my personal channel. So I would have probably Ask Adrian Anything for one day of the week, but you got to give me questions, guys. Uh, so Ask Adrian Anything, The Daily Stoic, Leonardo da Vinci. I'd have four other slots on the personal channel for, so we'll just say Monday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday would be the one, or the Ask Adrian Anything on Sundays, Daily Stoic on Mondays, Leonardo on Tuesdays. I'd have four days of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, to do something. What would you want to see? there any suggestions i would be open to one of the things i want to do on that channel it's just difficult to do because i'm learning a new editing software i've got a new computer um i want to start doing video essays i don't know how i want to do that i don't want to use b-stock footage or b-roll footage or stock footage whatever you call it I don't know how I want to do that. I don't know if I want to do that just with the the video being the words on the page, right? I think that could probably be fairly boring. I want to get into reviewing paintings on that channel. Um, that is something that I... I don't know how well represented that is on YouTube. But I would be open to taking my shot at it. Um, but if you have any suggestions on what those other four days of the week could be on my personal channel, which you should by now be subscribed to, because, Hey, I'm just putting it out there. Maybe I'll find you. Maybe I could find you if you're not subscribed over there. So, uh, subscribe over there and leave me suggestions. Maybe if you've gotten this far in the video for what you would want to see on those other four days of the week. And, um, yeah, that is what I have set up for May and possibly going forward, get out. I've got some mail to deliver. 